Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is so awesome to be back and spreading the word of God and the love that he has for each and every one of us. Unconditional love. It's so awesome to thank God. Hallelujah. When you woke up this morning, thank you, Father, that I am alive. Thank you for the pillow and the blanket and the coverings, Father God, last night that no hurt, harm, or danger came to anyone. I pray that you didn't get any uh, bad news. I pray, hallelujah, that you're thanking him and moving about this day. You can walk, talk, you can see, you can feel, hallelujah. It's just awesome. And I am saying that I am at the right place at the right time. I'm here at UPTV, and I am excited. I'm Donna Joan. This is Be You. Say bye to the devil, kicking to the curb as hard as you can, and get out of his way and, and, and tell God, Lord, I submit myself to you, and the devil got to flee because you chose Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. It is just so awesome, so awesome to serve the Lord, so awesome to know whew, that I am free. I am so, so free. I love my freedom through the blood of Jesus. I love Jesus. I thank God that, hallelujah, I didn't find him because I wasn't looking, but he saw something in me, and he called me into the kingdom, and hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and I'm excited about a new day, new mercy. And I lift up everyone that's listening, that hey, 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 you got to get alive, you got to get up, you got to move about and let people know that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you that um, Ecclesiastics 9 and 11, and it, it says, the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skills, but time and chance happen to them all. And let me tell you, a lot of times we think that things happen to people only because they're rich, only because of their certain color, but God says he's no respecter of person. So no, that's not why. People just, and, and, and this word's coming out, they pursue their dream, their visions, and their goals. They pursue the, the word of God. They get into the Bible. They study the Bible. They chew on the Bible. They swallow the word of God. And I'm telling you, it's this old taste and see how good God is. And it's a blessing uh, to, to know that God loves me no matter what. And you know what? If I was the only one on earth, he still would have went to that cross for me because he is a God of love. And he, he loves me more than I can even imagine. He loves me more than I love myself. He loves me more than my husband loves me. He loves me how people come up to you and say, I love you, not you don't love me the way God loved me, but, you know, I accept your love. But, ooh, the, the love of God, you know, you just, you, you, you can stand tall. You can, okay, I'm only four feet and ten inches, but I can stand tall, hallelujah, and know that he calls me beloved. And he says, beloved, never forget that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong, but time and chance happen to them all. And God, see, you got to call on God. God wants to have you to have the right timing. And a lot of times, you know, we'll, we'll jump to something and we don't even 
consult him. We don't pray about it. We, we don't go to him and say, what, how do I handle this? No, what, what, what do I do? What do I say? I'm nervous. I'm shaking in my boots and, uh, you know, and, and, and he'll say, calm down, Donna, calm down. And that's what he's telling you. Calm down and smell the roses. Calm down and look at the different things that's growing. It's spring now and the plants and flowers are all popping up and they are gorgeous. They are beautiful. Wish I knew how to do landscape but I don't. But you know what? I can get somebody else to do it. Amen. And that's what God, he said, Donna, go, go get your neighbor. They do landscape. I don't have to fret. And that's the thing. That's the reason why I say right place, right time. God does not want us to fret. And that's how come I always lift up man, woman, boy, and girl. I, I can't call all those names because I'll forget somebody. So I just say man, woman, boy, and girl. And I, and, and I lift up especially the senior citizens that uh, they can't find help. They can't get where they want to go. They want to go to the store and they want to get a certain type of food and the, uh, the, the family wants them to eat this and they want to eat this. You know, make them happy and, and give them a teaspoon of whatever it is they desire to have. I don't know where that comes from. But, you know, we, sometimes we don't help people out, but God does. God, God, uh, God sent me to a family, and I'm telling you, I was so overwhelmed. I went to the family and how we spoke and we talked and we listened, and, and God was telling me to tell them certain things, and it just panned out that the things that they were desiring, I had it. I had it in my home, and when I left there, I took care of some business. I went home. I got it, and I took it to them and sometimes we want to wait you know we put it off but he told me that I was in the right place at the right time hallelujah and I felt so so good his timing and nothing is left to chance because you are God's child and see I don't have, I don't have no shame I, I tell everybody hey look I'm a Christian I belong to God I chose to serve God. I, I, I made a decision that I want to give him my all in all. Oh, oh, no, oh, you know, I know somebody said something just then. Yeah, I make mistakes. I really do. But I'm trusting God to get me or fix it for me because he, he said, I, 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 you know, I gave you a way of escape, Donna. I, I, I opened that door and you, you, you missed that door and you went in that door. He said, but come on back, come on back go in this door, and I'll be like, mm, there it is. You know, that's how good he is. And, and he brings joy to you, unspeakable joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And, 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 and I, just, I just love that. I, I, I love listening to him. And he said in uh, Proverbs 3, 13, 16, happy. Mm, that's, that's a start right there. Happy is the man who finds wisdom. So a lot of things that I do, I need some wisdom because, see, it, it's not working the way I want it to work, and I'm not using the wisdom of God. In fact, I'm not even listening to him. I'm listening to my own thoughts and looking at how I, yeah, right, I messed up when I said what I would do. But he said, happy is the man who finds wisdom. Or, and woman, come on now. And it says here, and the man or woman who gains understanding. And then all you're getting, get understanding on what it is that you desire to do. Get understanding so that God can put you in the right position. So he, you can say, mm, right place, right time. That's what I'm talking about. And then he turns around and he says, uh, because you, I am a God's child in Psalms 37, 20, 23 says, the steps of a good man or woman are ordered by the Lord. Yes, I, if we listen, 
our steps are ordered by him. That's the reason why I couldn't I couldn't feel I, I couldn't figure out why I, I just desired to go to this home. I just couldn't figure out what what's there, you know. And I, and I didn't want to be su shocked or surprised. But when I got there, and and when I met the people, it was just awesome. It was overwhelming to be able to sit, and the lady just smiled and she laughed. And, and, and that, I just had a joyous, good time being there and, and being her caregiver. It was just awesome. And, and he ordered my steps, and I was obedient to it. And it says, you are that good man or woman because you are the righteousness, and I'm doing it in the right way. I'm not doing it my way. I'm doing it God's way, so I know that I'm doing it the right way. You know, that scripture, rightly divide the word, you can wrongly divide the word. You can even hear wrong. And so you got to take time out. You know, we don't want to take the time out. But the righteousness of God in Christ is overpowering. It's, it's so powerful and operative that it, it, it's almost hard to comprehend on the goodness of God, his favor, his unmerited favor. His grace, and you know, He's grace. I mean, that's the reason why all these blessings and promises are given to us because of His grace, His great unmerited favor. And it says here, we depend on God to cause you, cause you to be at the right place at the right time. Depend on Him to put you there. And a lot of times we hear his voice and, and we, we keep it moving. But if you say, God, what did you say? I, I heard you, but I missed it. You need to repeat that, you know. And, and he'll repeat it. I, I need you to turn right and say, so you got to back up. You got to go around the corner and start all over. So, and sometimes people don't like starting all over. Sometimes people don't like uh, what they see or hear on their jobs. But all you got to do is pray. And that's another thing. We got to pray, 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 and pray, hallelujah, about situations. Give it to God. Cast that mess and that junk on him. Give it to God. And I'm telling you, he ain't going to be all day and all night either. He's going to answer you. If you say, okay, I need an answer, God, he's right there. Because you know what? He's just happy to help somebody. It's like he said, my arms are stretched out. He, nests, he said, I never leave you nor forsake you. So his arms are always out. And he just, and I know that he just grabs me. Oh God, Donna, thank you for asking me a question. Thank you for giving your, your life over to me and trusting me and believing in me. Yeah, cause ain't nobody on earth like you. And I enjoy, and I can smile. Oh, I have tears sometimes, but I know that God is taking care of me. Hallelujah. And happy, you know, it, 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 to encounter, to meet uh, without arrangements, to change, to be present. I mean, it's just like, and it says here, in a nutshell, it means right happening. Amen. Right happening. And the right happenings is what brings the smiles to you, what makes you be a good mother, a good father, a, 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 a good auntie, a good uncle. The happiness that you receive from, from Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the happiness and the love and the joy and the healing and the deliverance is in Jesus. I mean, whatever it is that you desire it's in him you just have to talk to him you have to you have to speak to him and let him know he already know him he already know what you're going through he just wants you to say hey my friend my friend because that's what he said you're a friend indeed and so it says here my friend you can depend on God to cause you to be at the right place at the right time to have right happenings happen in your life 
And I know there's somebody out there, you want things to manifest itself. You want things to grow. It's almost like I got this huge plan, and I just look at it and I say, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I know you can't talk to me, but I can talk to you, and I'm talking to you, plant. You don't grow, I'm going to put you out in the snow. I'm going to put you out there in the heat. And next thing I know, that plant is growing. Okay, and I, I done watered it, and my husband has done, done what he going to do, because he's the plant person. But... The plant hears. I, I'm speaking that you better grow or you going in the garbage. Hallelujah. You going in the heat or you going in the snow. Now, which one? Okay, neither one. Okay. So I, I, this is how God wants us to do. Lord, I need your help. I need you to, to, to send me down and down the road, but I, you, I need you to tell me which way to turn. Do I keep going or do I make a left or a right? And he'll tell you. He'll tell you. Hallelujah. He will tell you. So it says, my friend, you can depend on God to cause you, again, to be at the right place at the right time, to have things happen to you, and, and your life will sp just spread out. Things will begin to just open up to you. You got desires and you've got things you want to do but you just got to stand still and, and and let it just manifest let it grow hallelujah and it says I am sure that you would agree that being at the right place at the right time is a tremendous blessing and yes it is it felt so good to be a blessing to somebody instead of me always depending on somebody to bless me I was able to bless someone, and it just that's just the best feeling in the world. Hallelujah. So you certainly don't want to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. And some things happen and and at the, <laughs> at the be you at the wrong place at the wrong time. But let me tell you what you do. Back up. Back up. <laughs> Gotta go. Cause you know you in the wrong place at the wrong time that can lead to d d d disastic, um, drastic uh, uh, results. I mean, things can happen. Run, run, Gump, run. That's how I love that, that run, Gump. When you know you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, come on, ladies. Sometimes we, we, we think we're doing the right thing. I, I'm talking to ladies now. We are in the wrong place. We are magnifying the wrong thing. Wake up up wake up call jesus call him hallelujah and then it turns around and says but even if you think that you're in the wrong place at the wrong time such as when you are caught like in a traffic jam oh always or when you miss your train or your plane okay it's just a, a delay yes the, a delay can turn out to be god's protection. There's many times I've, I've, I've said, damn, why did I go down this road? I ain't never went down this way. God's put me in the right place at the right time. I missed all that traffic. Just happened yesterday. I never seen, y'all know Champagne ain't got a whole lot of traffic. I seen so many cars that I was shocked and I said, if I get out of this, so I turned and went the opposite way and not no cars. But if I'd have went there, I'd have still I would have still been on that street. God prepares things for us. And I I love that when it said, but even if you think you're going the wrong wrong way, uh, like I said in the traffic, uh, when you missed your train, don't don't be uh too arrogant, don't, you know, agitate it because God is preparing it for you that you'll calm down. Amen. A, delete, a delay can turn out to be God's protection from an accident. Oh, he placed you in the right place at the right time. He caused you to be free that you didn't get in that accident. That, that's all it is. And sometimes a delay of just a few seconds can mean the difference between life and death. Hallelujah. And I'm, I'm excited about that. Sometimes we get in such a hurry that 
we don't understand what God is doing, don't get in a hurry. Don't, don't, don't get in that big of a hurry. It's not that serious, you know. And, and I try to go like 15 or 20 minutes ahead of time so that I can pray. I can talk to God. I, I'm looking at what's going on around me because I'm not rushing to get somewhere. I've, and I've always, like, for instance, been on my job 30 to an hour early, only because as cute as I am, I want to put on my lipstick and I want to make sure it's on good. I want, like I, I came out today, I wasn't rushing. I just <clears throat> left my earrings in the car, you know, but I, 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 I like taking time out for me. Hallelujah. I do. And that's what you got to do. You got to take out time for you. And so I get on the job and I put my lunch up and, and I check myself in the mirror. And by the time I get to my position, I'm calm. Because I, I have taken care of all of the things that I want to take care of. And that's how come I, I, I got friends. They go to work 30 minutes early. They take care of business, you know. Get their desk all smooth out. Get that cup of coffee. Get that cup of tea. God is so awesome. He prepares all these things for us. And that's the reason why you got to depend on him. And I'm going to read this real quick because I'm thanking God for UPTV, um, Be You Say Bye. And, and it's, Father, I thank you that my steps are ordered by you because I am righteous in Christ. And because there is no detail of my plans or my life that escapes your attention, I can trust you <laughs> to position me at the right place at the right time, safe, safe from any danger and set up for good success. You have good success. Father, I look to you and your unmerited favor to protect me and my family from all harm and make our way prosperous. Whoa, tell me that wasn't good. You, you can't tell me that wasn't good because that's God. So today, it says, my steps are ordered by the Lord because I'm righteous in him. Think about your steps. Amen. And, and you know another thing? Exercise. Get up. The warm weather is coming. Get up and exercise. Just walk. If it is nothing but from one corner of your sidewalk to the other or from your door to the end of the driveway. Exercise, exercise, and exercise the Word of God because you cannot get anything better than the Word of God. And I thank God for Jesus being grace to me and a blessing to me. Each and every day, he's been a blessing. 